for this problem, we can only do number 52, which comes from section 10.5. We have uh, y double prime minus y is equal to e8 to the et sine 2t. And then we have uh, y is 0 equal to 2, y prime of 0 equal to negative 2. Okay, we start by taking the Laplace of everything, and this expands, and over right here, what I did is I took out the 8 first, because it's a constant, um, your 2 would go over here, and here, you would square it, 2 squared is 4, so that's where you would get the 4 from. Uh, the 1 comes from e to the t, so there's like an imaginary 1 there, right, s minus 1 squared, and then on the top your 2 will be here, and then you add back in the 8, 8 times 2 16. And here, I just plug in the initial values we were given for y of 0 and y prime of 0, which is negative 2. With, uh, I mean, uh, y of 0 is just 2. And then y prime of 0 is going to be negative 2. And then we have a negative here, so it's going to be positive. And here, I just group the Laplace's factor out ly and then I do more a little more cleaning up here and then I start adding uh, this 2 times s plus 1 and then multiply by 1 over s squared minus 1 so we have this l of y left so now we add this to here, we're going to get this, and then multiply by 1 over s squared minus 1. We just tag on the s squared minus 1 right here. Uh, right here, I, um, right here, I just uh, multiplied everything back out, undid the square basically perfect square. And this, I expanded this into s minus 1 and then s plus 1. And now um, our partial fraction decomposition will look like this. A, B, and we're going to have C, S plus D. Right? And then for my A, I got negative 1 half, B, negative, I mean uh, 7 over 2. C, uh, negative 1, and D, negative 1. We plug all those in, and we're going to get negative 1 over 2 over S plus 1 plus 7 over 2 over S minus 1 plus negative S minus 1 over S squared minus 2S plus 5. Now, um, we, uh, what I did here is I um, completed the square, put it back into the square, yeah. Here I, we start adding the inverse, Laplace inverse, to solve for the y. So we get our y, and then we solve for the Laplace's of this, the, uh, these uh, numbers on top, fractions can be uh, factor out because they're constants. All right, uh, we get this, and then on the bottom over here, this is what we get, like this. And for the last fraction, I had trouble, but I, uh, I believe. Uh, this is the way to solve it. Uh, I referenced uh, 
we did an example in this section in the 10.5 lecture uh, B where you can see this is a pretty similar form um, I just there's just no negative here so just factor out the negative and we have s minus a so there's our a it's our one right and then we have so we're working this way instead of from here to here we're working from here to here right so we're gonna have e uh, a is going to be 1, right? Here's our 1. So we don't put anything. It's just going to be 1. And then our t just stays t. Cosine b, our b is over here. All right. It's supposed to be a 2. This, this is supposed to be a 2, by the way. I messed up. And at the end. That's it.